Alright. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, that would be, like, really bad. Bloopers. Alright, yeah, let's get it. Boom! Okay, so today we are in Reno for the Nitty Gritty Show. Shout out to Bomb Squad Events for having me out for the Nitty Show. It's going to be sick. I might be having a special guest on later that we're going to talk to. And today we're going to be discussing about like how you, like up and coming producers can acquire getting more shows and tips and tricks that I've learned in the industry and that I've learned from professionals. So hopefully some of this can help you guys out because I've been getting like a lot of messages and emails from you guys lately asking like what you guys can do more or better to get more shows. So I'm going to be going through like a little list for that. And uh, yeah, so let's get straight into it. QB roll. A lot of you guys are really creative too. Like you guys make super sick music. So I know most of you, 80% of you guys are super creative. So if music is not doing it, if music is not enough for people to get your attention, then start doing something else. Like you guys are super fucking creative. Figure out what else you guys really like doing that people will want to like use you for as a resource. Cause nowadays, like if you're a resource in the industry, if you know how to do shit that people need, there and there's so much too. There's so fucking much in this industry that people are always looking for. Just, you guys just gotta think outside the box. It sucks, dude. Like music nowadays is just not enough. I know artists that are making like crazy fucking music, crazy, crazy music and they're barely getting any shine. And it's so aggravating. It's so fucking aggravating. But that's just where our industry's at right now because everything is flooded. It's so oversaturated. When you're scrolling through your phone on Facebook or on your computer, wherever you're at, you'll you'll see a bunch of like music. You'll see, it. thanks dude. <laughs> You'll see a bunch of music, you'll see a bunch of videos, like you'll see a bunch of people posting shit all the time. So that's what's called noise. And there's a bunch of fucking noise nowadays. Like SoundCloud's just fucking noise, noise, noise. Everybody's like making a bunch of half-ass shit. Spotify even, YouTube, like there's just so much noise. So it's hard to stick out amongst that noise unless you're bringing like top tier quality shit. And a lot of us either don't have the time, the monetary income, or the resources to make that top tier shit. So now you gotta think behind the scenes kind of stuff. You know, what, can, what else can I do? What other people can I meet? What other things can I provide to my community, to the industry that will help build me and get me further? So just think about it. You guys are fucking creative. Think outside the box. Help, help other people out, man. That's the best thing that you guys can do. That's what's gonna introduce you to more people inside of the industry that can pick you up too. All right, so at this point, I pretty much feel like I'm ranting because uh, yeah, it's a heavy topic, man. We all wanna play shows. We all want to play shows, we all want to get out, we all want the exposure, but you know, sometimes playing all these shows is not really the exposure that's going to build you up. It, it really isn't. So, and that's why you got to pick and choose what shows you do nowadays. But sometimes if you're not playing that many shows, maybe you do got to take an opening spot at some side stage show just so you can get some video content, just so you can start building your following, just so you can like kind of just get into the scene. We all started there. We all started there. So if that's what you got to do here and there, Take those spots, get in with those production companies, meet with them, fucking help them out. Like help them before the show, after the show, help them break down, help them set up. Whatever it is you gotta do to get your foot in the door to start making those initial steps to start building your career more and more. So yeah, the, the best advice, dude, like when people ask me, what's the best way to get into a scene? Simply just get into the scene. Whatever you gotta do to get your foot in, like go to the fucking shows. I'm super fucking awkward and I'm so weird of human interaction, but I know I have to force myself to get the fuck out. I know I have to force myself to go to a show, meet people, go hit up a fucking DJ that's on a lineup for a show or a production company I've never heard of just so I can go there, shoot video of them, make content, get out, go fucking create. Like, there's so many options and the shows will come. I fucking promise you, the shows will come. Just in the meantime, focus on your craft, Keep creating, 
keep building your team. The right shows will come. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a long time. But like I said, like I, I've watched artists start at my level or even lower and blow up way faster than me. And you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not hating. Dude, fucking tight. At least one of us is making it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to sit here and be bitter. I'm going to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, that drives me. That gives me inspiration. That pours gasoline all over my fire. Because if they can do it, I can fucking do it. You know, and, and I watch artists surpass me all the time. And it's cool, dude. I'm fucking happy for them. I'm so happy. That's tight. But that's just more encouragement that I can do it too and you guys can do it too. So don't get jealous. Envy is such a like unattractive cologne. Never get jealous, get inspired. Get the fuck inspired. Hit up people. Reach out to other people. Share with your music. Get in group chats. Get in Facebook pages. There's so much you can do. And every day I get off work, I go home and I think, what what more can I do today? What what better can I do today than I did yesterday? What other strategies can I try? What people can I hit up in the country to show my music or even to network with or, or just grow a relationship with? Every day, you gotta think about it because this, if this is your career, this is gonna be your fucking life and it's gonna take a long time for you to get to that level. So every day, just keep investing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Stop smoking fucking weed if it's not making you productive. Stop playing fucking video games all the time. Stop going out and drinking with your friends. Like, if you guys are serious, then it'll show and how far you are in your career. And that's why like, I always love showing what I'm doing, where I'm going, who I'm meeting, what, what I'm creating, because I just want to help inspire you guys. You guys can fucking do it. You guys hit me up all the time. And sometimes I just, I don't really know what to say other than what I'm saying right now. Because at the end of the day, you can have all the knowledge about this shit, but the ball's in your court. If you're not applying everything you know, everything you do, Everybody you know, everything you're doing, <clears throat> you're not going to make it. And at the end of the day, that's your decision. That's not mine. I can sit here and I can, I can drop gems all day, but if you guys decide to do nothing with them, that's on you guys. My job is to be here, create, and inspire. The rest is up to you. And I'll always help you guys out along the journey if you guys are serious about it. And there's a lot of people that I fuck with too, and you guys know I fuck with you. Because I see how serious you are, the potential you have, and the fuck, how creative, how stupid, how stupidly creative you are, and I just want to stand behind that. So whatever I can do, I'll always help, I'll always support. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, fuck, I'm like out of things to talk about. So we'll just kind of wrap it up there. I, this is like a huge fucking rant, not even a vlog at this point. But uh, yeah, so I'm in Reno, shout out to Bomb Squad, and then shout out to this dope ass fucking drum and bass company. They hooked me up with this dope shirt when I was out in um, LA uh, at a show. And they're like, yo, like cross promotion. And I was like, yo, drum and bass shirt, fuck yeah. So shout out to them. I'll throw all their ads down. Uh, and like, let's go see if we can uh, meet with some other artists behind the scenes and get you guys some cool little insight. And aside from that, yeah, so I got to run to the show now. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching this so much. And sometimes nobody fucking watches it, but you know what, I don't care. Like I said, my job is to create it, put it out to the world. People watch it, cool, if people don't, fuck, whatever, I tried. So uh, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. Let's go ahead and get to the show. Let's go find some other people to talk to. And thanks for tuning in and kicking it. All right, let's keep it going. And uh, what, what do you think, in your opinion, can help producers get more shows or just more exposure overall? Is there like any tips or tricks that have helped you personally in your career or what do you think? I mean, I think the number one thing is like if you're not spending your entire day just making music that's good enough for people to just automatically like you off the bat. Because there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I want exposure, I want to connect. And then when they hand someone their card or hand someone or make a connection, that person listens to the music and it sucks. You just lost, it's, that's worse than, you know, first impression is more important. So before you even ever connect or show or do anything, make sure your music is good enough so that when you start doing all that stuff, it'll happen fast. If the music's good. If the music's good. I, I waited a long time to make Nitty Gritty, but by then my music was already at a certain level of quality. Right. So everything went faster, you know. Yeah, same. Because like, yeah, I, I waited at least like three years until I was ready to like even upload my own music. Yeah, 100%. Let alone give it to people. Because yeah. like you said, first impressions, like fucking everything. Yep. So... 
Yeah. Yeah, it's the best. There's no other. It's no simple, easy trick. It's just you do it until until it works. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I've been telling people too, like just enjoy the journey. You know what I'm saying? Like the come up, because like you'll build your team, you'll find the right resources, you'll find the right people. Yep. And if you just go like zero to a hundred, like it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Yeah. The people you meet. No, you stories. can enjoy every show. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many, or even you know every level of uh, success. If you don't enjoy it, then you're not gonna be happy at the end anyway. So. Right, and it's a slow sure. roast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like. Work. Well, I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you kill it here in Reno. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah let's move on. Let's go.